one penny. And if that golfer finishes in six, seven, or eight, you'll make £50.99. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can do golf extra place offers. Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Chris, and on this channel I like to talk about match betting, making money online, and generally how to be smarter with your money. I have a match betting group over on Facebook, which I'll leave a link to in the description, and I also do a live stream here on the channel five nights a week at 7 p.m. So be sure to join along to that if you have any questions to do with match betting, whether you're just getting started or if it's a more advanced question, as I've been match betting over two years now and I've made over 25,000 pounds. So I feel I can answer most questions that people ask me. If you've clicked this video, I'm assuming that you have a basic understanding of what match betting is. But if you're brand, brand new and you really don't get it yet, then down in the description, I'll also leave a link to the free trial I have over at OddsMonkey, which is the software you need to use in order to do match betting properly. They have some great beginner guides on there that explain everything really clearly, but what I like to mainly focus on this channel is more advanced techniques that are gonna get you to the thousand pounds plus profit a month mark. So covered in this video, I wanna explain what an extra place offer is, how and when to get on extra place offers specifically to do with golf. And then finally, at the end of the video, I wanna to talk to you about four golf tournaments that you can get on in 2021. Because we're at the end of January now, all four tournaments are still available going into the year to get on. And these are gonna be the four tournaments that you're gonna be able to make the most money on when getting on extra places. Okay, so a golf extra place offer works exactly the same as a horse extra place offer in that bookmakers offer extra places in order to attract more business to their betting site. So for example, in a golf tournament, say there's 150 golfers in that tournament and a lot of the bookies are paying out the top uh, five places for that tournament uh, if you place an each way bet. Now, if a bookie offers to pay the extra places, so it might offer up to eight places, uh, which is what I'm gonna show you on a tournament that I've got on for this weekend in a second on the laptop, but what will happen is instead of you being able to back and lay at the, so you'll back each way five places at the bookie and then you'll lay at five places at the exchange. If you have those extra places, because you've uh, backed at uh, the first eight places, you'll then have uh, laid the first five places over at the exchange. So if that golfer finishes in those extra places, so sixth, seventh or eighth place, you'll actually win your back bet because the golfer has finished in the first eight places and you'll win your lay bet because they've, they've finished outside of the first five which you placed a lay bet on. So yeah, what we're looking for is that golfer to finish in sixth, seventh or eighth. If they finish in the first five, you will just take a very small qualifying loss or not lose any money and if they finish after eighth place or ninth place and onwards, then again, you won't make any money. They do need to land in that sweet spot of sixth, seventh or eighth for it to make any profit. The three best bookmakers for these golf type uh, extra place offers are Paddy Power, William Hill and Skybet. And I've found that they are every time by far the best ones to get on and the best ones to look at. But as I'll show you on the laptop in a second, the extra place matter is gonna bring everything up for you so you can see exactly what to get on. When I first got into match betting, if you like me, I didn't know anything about golf tournaments and how they ran, and I had no idea what was going on with it. So I'll just quickly explain how a golf tournament works. Basically, the tournament starts on a Thursday and then it runs for four days until the Sunday. Now, the golfers have the Thursday and Friday to do something called make the cut. So if they haven't performed to a, a good enough standard by the Friday, when the uh, day finishes on Friday, they will be cut from the tournament, which means they're basically disqualified and, and cut out of the tournament completely. Then on the Saturday and Sunday, you're left with the better players that have performed better in that tournament. And what you would then be looking for if you're on a, a golfer for an extra place is for them to hopefully perform well enough, but not so well that they win, but just well enough so they finish in that extra place for you. With it being that it's run from a Thursday to Sunday, that of course means that once you place the lay bet at Smarkets, or if you use Betfair, I generally recommend you use Smarkets because you can have a 0% commission when you're an Odds Monkey Premium member. But what will happen is if you lay the golfer on a Thursday, 
then that liability and your money is tied up in that bet until the tournament finishes on the Sunday. In some cases, depending on where the tournament's been played in the world, if you're in the UK, then that tournament could actually finish in the, uh, on the Monday morning UK time. Okay, so now you know how an uh, extra place offer works and how a golf tournament operates and what days it runs on. I want to talk to you about when you should be looking to get on a close odds match. So in the example I'm going to show you uh, that I've got on for this weekend, the tournament starts at 3 o'clock on the Thursday afternoon. So what I've been doing is looking at the Wednesday late evening and Wednesday night for any close matches. And then as well, check on the Thursday morning, uh, earlier the better, as early as 5 a.m. And that's generally when you want to check, between Wednesday late afternoon and then Thursday morning to see if there's any close odds matches for getting on the tournament if it starts at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Thursday. I was asked recently in one of the live streams that I do here on the channel, how do I pick which golfers to get on? And what I replied to in the gentleman that asked that question was I don't uh, actually pick them. The odds matcher, sorry, the extra place matcher over on Odds Monkey picks them for me. So let's just go on the laptop now. So as you can see here, I'm just going to show this to you if you're, you know, super, super brand new to match betting. So I can show you really step by step on how to do it. So this is the Odds Monkey dashboard when you're a premium member. So you go to tools at the top and then go down to matches. And then you've got all the different matches here, but click on the one at the bottom, which is the extra place matcher. That's then going to bring you up with all the extra place offers, of course. So uh, currently it's showing for a horse race, but we don't want that one. We want the, so there's the farmer's insurance open, which is the example I'm going to show you. And I'm, I'm actually on two golf players myself for this tournament. Um, I'm, I'm on Scott Stallings at the top there, because as you can see here, there's a, so under the qualifying loss column, that's going to tell you how much money it will cost you to get on that golfer as an extra place offer. And then on the extra place profit column, that shows you how much money you'll make. And also under the amount of profit, it tells you uh, six, seventh and eighth. So they're the extra places that you'll make the money if it finishes there. Now, a recent addition to Odds Monkey's extra place matcher is you can actually change the default stake. So there it says 10 pounds and over on the left hand side there you can see it says 10 pounds each way stake so that's actually a 20 pound total bet but when you put the bet into the uh, the bet on the bookie which I'll show you in a second you'll actually put 10 pounds in whatever it says in that box place 10 pounds and then select the each way box on the bookmaker but what we're going to do here because I know uh, so here for example you need to lay the win and then lay the place when you're doing extra places because it's not just in a simple back and lay for say when you did the welcome offers you would back something lay something if it's just a straight up bet with the extra places you have to lay the the win part of the bet and then lay the place part of the bet so here you can see if you put a 10 pound bet each way then it would cost you you'd need two and a half thousand pounds in uh you know liability money in markets uh, for the win lay and then 500 pounds for the place lay. So 3,000 pounds there. And uh, I know not everyone has sort of got that sort of amount of money for bankroll. So what I'll do is, I'll just drop that down to, to five there in the default stake and then press refresh. And that's gonna refresh it all of course and give us much better numbers to work with. Uh, in fact, because that's still saying 1,500 pounds, I'll put one pound in as the um, you know default. So this now would be a one pound each way stake and the amount of liability you would need now is 250 for the win lay and 50 pounds for the place lay. And that's still 300 pounds, so that's still a good amount of money. But as you can see here now on the right hand side with such a small uh, bet there, it's only gonna cost you one penny, one penny. And if that golfer finishes in six, seven, three, eight, you'll make 50 pounds 99. So you can see the, the risk there of a penny but then the reward there of 51 pounds nearly is definitely worth it uh, because the, the rate percentage there is 99.27. But I'm going to talk to you about which kind of bets you should be getting on uh, in a second. Let's firstly now just open up Skybet and the Smarkets tab. As you can see at the top, there's no tabs open. So I'm really going to show you how exactly you should be placing these. So let's open up Skybet and then open up a Smarkets. You can just simply click on them there. Um, to open them up 
And then the way I arrange my tabs at the very top is have the extra place matter as your first tab. And this is just how I do the horse extra place offers. So if you've not seen that video yet, I did on the channel, uh, I'll leave a link to that at the end of the video. But yeah, you want the extra place matcher, then you want the bookmaker. So in this account, I've got 86 pounds there, which is enough for, for what we're doing. And then you want the first markets tab open and just the, so just the win lay part. So you've got winner, top five, top 10, top 20. So just the winner part. And then that's gonna give you all the lay positions for the, the place, uh, sorry, for the win lay. Then on the second markets tab, you want it, so you want to close the winner one and then open the top five. It must be the top five because remember you're laying, you're betting against that um, golfer, I nearly said horse then, you're betting against that golfer to finish in the top five, okay? If you select top 10 or top 20, it's not going to work, you're just going to lose money. So select that one, top five, and then there's the uh, place lay. Always double check you've set those tabs up correctly in the right order. And yeah, now we have those set up nicely. Then over on Skybet, on the left-hand side, simply scroll down and select Golf on the side. And then as you can see, there was a Dubai Desert Classic, but that's not the one we're interested in. We want the Farmer's Insurance. And then it's the Outright. So it, it can be confusing. There's a lot of different bets you can get on uh, with Golf, but Farmer's Insurance Outright, click that one. The Outright is the one that we need here. And then scroll down and you will see here Main Markets, and they're the outright column. So there's without big three, top 10, but it's the outright column that we want. So, and then go ahead and click show all, and that's gonna show us all of the golfers here. And with golf tournaments, there are generally uh, quite a lot of uh, players in the tournament. As you can see, the highest on uh, odds goes to Willie Mack at 2001. So yeah, but generally what we're gonna want to sort of choose to try and get on, is odds of around 80 or above because they're the ones that you're going to be able to take very small qualifying losses on but make very big money if they finish in the extra place. So for this example then we're going to take Scott Stallings uh, as I said at the start I've actually already got on this golfer with a five pounds each way bet but for this example so we're going to get one pound on him and his, odd, his back odds there as you can see in that box are 251 so go to Skybet scroll down and find the 251 box and then there's Scott Stallings as you can see and you would just click that it's then going to bring it bring it up there at the side and you would just type in one and then always double check that you've pressed the each way uh, button there and it'll say times two and just double check when you're about to place the bet that it's doubled it to two pounds so remember you put in one in the box you press in each way and then also check the each way terms, as you can see under there where my mouse is, each way terms, they're paying the first eight places at one fifth odds. And you wanna double check that as well, just to make sure they definitely are. Sometimes, uh, very rarely, uh, bookies can change their minds. It's super rare that that happens, but just check there that it's uh, still the, the extra places are being paid. And then you can go ahead and place that two pound bet. But before you uh, sort of confirm there, what I advise doing is just double checking that the lay odds are still the same as what the extra place matter is. So what can happen is you might see that Scott Stallings' odds are 251, but then if the lay odds change at markets for either the win or the place lay, you're gonna then be taking a lot more qualifying loss if you can't get on it at as a good odds. So his, his win lay odds should be 260 still. So scroll down, look for 260, and we want to find, okay, so yeah, as you can see, I've already got the money on Scott Stallings. And yes, the Layards in the blue box, of course, are still 260. Then check the place Layards are 50. So go over to your second tab and again, show all and then go down. And I've already laid his place. So Scott Stallings. And again, we've checked. Yes, they are still at 50. Check that there's a good amount of money there. So 25 pounds available and of course, 557 pounds available there as well. So you're, you're fine there to go ahead, place the bet at Skybet, then you would place a 97p lay bet at odds of 260, go back to the extra place matcher, and you would place a one pound two lay bet at the odds of 50, 
And, and then as the uh, matcher says, that will give you your loss of one penny. But if he finishes in six, seventh or eight, you'll make £50.99. So that is literally all you need to do to, to get on these extra places. Now, as, as far as which ones sh should you get on, uh, as you can see, that one's in green because it's over a 95% match. Well, I would, uh, I would say normally with golfers, especially if their odds are really high like that, because obviously there is a very low chance that he's going to end up finishing in 6th, 7th or 8th, because that's very high odds, 251. Um, I have seen it many times though, where very high odds golfers have finished in those lower places. So that's why it's worth taking them when you, you're taking such a very, very small qualifying loss. Now, this second golfer, odds of 301, you might look at that and see 17 pence is a, a very small loss. But as you can see, the implied odds column, generally what you want is where it says implied odds, you want that number to be double whatever the back odds are at the bookie. So you can see the implied odds for the top player there are three, nearly 3,500 and back odds are 251. So of course, without a doubt, that's worth taking. And uh, I would say if you have more money in your Smarkets account, uh, like I've done, put £5 each way bet on. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to be making, if he finishes in that place, £255. And it's only cost me 7 pence to get on that player. Really, you want to get on golfers that are over 98% as a match if they're very high odds. Because you want the, the qualifying losses to be very, very small amounts. And you can get on ARBs with golfers um, if it's say, so say the back odds for this uh, player at the top here were 250. That's going to give you a, a rating of 101.2%, which means you'll make 12p no matter what happens. And you can get on those with golfers because the odds are such a big gap difference. Uh, bookies aren't really paying that much attention to people uh, if it's just a very small ARB like that. So I recommend you take those as well if the opportunity is there and, and you can get on them. Okay, so now you've learned everything that you need to know and uh, everything that I know about getting on golf extra places and how I've been making money getting on them. Now I'm gonna show you on the screen, I've been searching around on the internet to find this information for you, make it nice and easy, because that's what my goal is here on the channel. So if you're not subscribed already, then I'm trying to build a huge following on this channel to do with everything to help you with making money online. So please subscribe now if you're not already. But let me just show you these on, on the laptop. Let me show you these are the best tournaments that you'll want to be getting on for extra places because the bigger tournaments with the bigger money put into them, the bookies are going to be making a lot more money. So they throw more offers at it to do with extra places especially. So as you can see, firstly, we have uh, the Masters Tournament, April 8th to 11th, the Augusta National. So that's going to be one to write down in your diary for April. Then in May, May 20th to 23rd, we have the PGA Championship, uh, Keikawa Island, if you pronounce, I don't know how you pronounce that, but Keikawa Island. Then over on the, uh, in the US Open, we've got June 17th to June 20th, uh, the Torrey Pines for the US Open. Another great one that you're gonna be able to, to get on lots of golfers for for that. And then finally, July 15th to 18th, the Royal St. George's for the Open Championship. Now, they're not the only four tournaments that you'll be able to get on these extra place offers with uh, for the whole year. There will be more. And all you need to do on a Tuesday, normally Monday or Tuesday, check your OddsMonkey uh, extra place matcher. And that's when OddsMonkey will list in uh, that matcher when there is going to be a tournament with those offers placed. And you can also check the uh, daily offer calendar. So over on the offers, daily offer calendar, and then scroll down. And I recommend you check this every day anyway, but as you scroll down, the sh yeah, so there you go. Uh, golf offers, farmer's insurance, and Omega Dubai Desert. And there's even normally a, a second part there that will say which um, bookies are giving out the extra place offer. So I hope you've learned something from this video and taken some value away from it. If you have, I really appreciate you pressing the like button uh, just to help YouTube recommend this video to more people and grow the Profit Boss channel even more. And yeah, get involved on the live stream. If you have any questions, 
put them in the comments below and then what I'll do is I'll answer them on the very next live stream I do in the first 15 minutes of the stream while I'm waiting for the live chat comments to come in with the live questions. So yeah, thank you very much for watching then and I'll see you in the next one.